I'm so good at calculus, I know all four of the main concepts. What's that over there? <laughs> OMG! There's a runaway plane whose function of displacement is 3t cubed minus 60t squared plus 60t plus 57. Now to find the acceleration in velocity. Knowing the plane's displacement is 3t cubed minus 30t squared plus 64t plus 57, I must find the derivative in order to get the plane's velocity, which ends up being 9t cubed minus 60t plus 64. Then I have to find the plane's second derivative, which is its acceleration, which ends up being 18t minus 60. Knowing that I have to save the plane in six minutes, I have to plug in six for all three functions, and I get the answers, find the graphs, and bam, I got the plane saved. Now that I know their speed, I can run and save them. That was stressful. Time to go home. Oh my god, he's coming! Time for my freshman accelerator function odometer. Well, I got data coming out of my ears here. So I clock Captain Derivative's function of acceleration as 12t minus 5. I need to find Captain Derivative's velocity, so I must calculate the antiderivative of his function. I can do that because I am antiderivative man, 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 man. These graphs show his velocity, so I know in one hour he will be seven miles away. Ha ha! Wow. Alright, looks like I figured out it's acceleration, so I should be able to tell where her be exactly one hour from now. Anti-derivative man! Ho! Fifty nine fifty eight. Fifty nine fifty nine. Sixty. There he is. Time to prevail. That sucked. Do you hear that? It sounds like someone's investing money. I really need it. Save my thousand dollars. I don't know. I'll invest it in a bank account that compounds quarterly. Yeah. Right after I get some chalupas. Whoa, like, who are you? I'm derivative man. Whoa, like, uh, what are you doing? Son, don't waste your thousand dollars in a bank account that compiles quarterly. You must invest your money in a bank account that compiles continuously. For you see... Compounding quarterly only gains you interest four times a year, while compounding continuously earns interest an infinite amount of times per year. However, this interest ends up becoming a limit known as E, which is approximately 2.71. So you see, you must compound continuously in order to maximize your profit from interest. Captain Derivative, out! Wow, man, you, you coming at me like all wrong, like slow down. But I mean, seriously, thanks. You like increased my Chalupa account from like three a day to like seven a day. High five. Yeah! Oh, oh my god! Oh, what'd you do? Oh my you broke my head! So you broke my head! What are you doing? How do you not know your own strength?
What's that? Is that a calculus teacher in doubt? It's coming from up there! God, I'm having such a mastodonic problem with these integrals. I need help! Oh, can you help me with this integral? I'll help you. For you see, Well, you see, my struggling math teacher, we first have to choose what increments to use. Say we use six sections for our increment from 1 to 4, giving us a base of 0.5 per rectangle. This means the area of each rectangle will be f of c of 0 0.5 for the sample point of x equals c. Because f of x is decreasing from 1 to 4, the right is the low and the left is the upper. With this, we can find the area from the lower, upper, and middle points. Finding the answers, we can conclude that the midpoint is between the upper and lower. Wow, you're my hero. I guess you really do know all the concepts of calculus. Yeah, I'm kind of a big deal. There's a runaway plane who's OMG, there's a runaway plane whose function of displacement is 3TQ minus 60T squared plus P.